I have the Golden Ratio Nautilus. Yes, the Golden Ratio Nautilus. The only one. I'll show it to you. But first, I'll show you this real Nautilus. It's a beautiful example of an exponential spiral. And there's also this sort of spiral called a Fibonacci spiral or golden spiral. It's beautiful too. When you turn it 90 degrees, it scales up by roughly 1.618, the golden ratio. So it scales up by that to the fourth power every full revolution, a factor of almost seven every revolution. Look, one centimeter, seven centimeters. So the equation in polar coordinates is r equals seven to the number of revolutions. That's an exponential curve, just like y equals e to the x is the exponential curve in Cartesian coordinates. So it's clearer if you call it an exponential spiral, and that's what I call it, even though others slavishly follow convention and call it a logarithmic spiral. But that's a different rant. Now, measure a nautilus and you'll see it grows by a factor of roughly three every revolution. See, one centimeter, three centimeter, nine centimeter. The exponential equation in polar coordinates here is r equals three to the number of revolutions, nowhere near seven. But still, this poor Nautilus is always being abused by the golden ratio cult leaders. There are so many books and websites that talk about the Nautilus being a golden spiral that I decided I'd create the fiction they're talking about. Mathematics is the power of creation. So here it is, a Nautilus that really does grow by the golden ratio to the fourth every revolution. And I decorated it nicely too, with a pattern based on the square root of five, like a knight's move. Because I happen to know the golden ratio is a very good friend of the square root of five. But wait, there's more. I really do have powers of creation. So I whipped one up on my 3D printer. I like this printer, it's cool because it uses two colors of plastic to make things. Here, I'm making the Nautilus one half at a time, then I glued the halves together. So here it is, the golden ratio Nautilus you keep hearing about, the only one in the world.